Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we are going to a tattoo appointment. We are gonna be finishing my haunted house today. I am running behind because I have to stop at the store before we go. So I actually need to leave like right now. I literally did my makeup and my hair in 30 minutes. Absolutely not even exaggerating. I woke up late this morning. I was so, so tired. And yeah, I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing this in 30 minutes where I'm not wearing makeup at all. So yeah, I quickly, quickly, quickly just did winged liner, lipstick, and I did my hair in a couple of space buns. I have these really cute little witchy clips that I put in there. I got them at a, um, what's it called? I went to an orchard and they have like little small shops set up there. And I got these from a small shop. So they're cute. They have like these little black bows with some glittery stuff and then a couple of witches hats on them. So I thought they were cute. So I just threw them in my hair to make it look like I tried a little bit more because ooh, your girl's looking rough today. Looking rough, rough, rough. I also have to stop and get cash back so I have money for a tip. I'm all over the place today, but I'm really excited to get my thigh piece finished. I also got my tattoo artist a really cool gift. It's a taxidermy mouse and it's sitting on a toilet taking a shit reading a newspaper. I will show you guys when we get to the shop because I already have it like gift wrapped and everything. I'll show you guys my outfit real quick. Like I said, it is definitely not interesting. I'm wearing like an oversized hoodie and then I'm just wearing these cut off shorts because obviously we're working on this whole entire side of my thigh. So I have to make sure I wear something that is easy and comfortable to access the tattoo we're doing. So I'm just wearing these shorts with this big black craft Colt oversized hoodie um yeah i love this hoodie it's super comfortable and then i just put on my spider web boots probably not the best fashion choice for this outfit i kind of feel like joe dirt or something like that but um it's what we're wearing it's what we're working with today i don't have time to change or do anything else also real quick i want to show you guys the bag i'm wearing because i feel like this makes my outfit so much cooler i finally got a purse from love pain and stitches they are so hard to get and I finally got one. It is gorgeous. It has the purple sparkle, the green stitching. The strap is purple and black with the green stitching. And then on the other side, it has a different face on it. So you can choose which face you wanna wear for the day. So I'm gonna be wearing that purse for the first time today and I'm so excited. So I wanted to do a little spooky outfit to kind of like match my purse. So I added the witch hats and my spiderweb boots. I have everything packed and ready to go. I still have to stop at the store and get something to eat and get money back, so I have a tip. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road. I will update you guys when we get to the shop so I can show you guys the taxidermy mouse. Um, it's so cool, you guys are gonna love it. Okay, I am now in the car and I'm hands-free, don't worry. I'm not holding a camera or anything. I actually have you guys set up in my cup stand on my tripod, that's why the angle is so bad, but I am right on time and I wound up getting good things to eat for breakfast. I honestly, I hate getting tattooed at 11 o'clock. I'm not sure why I made all these appointments at 11 a.m. because it's such an odd time. Like it's not breakfast, but it's not lunch, but you have to eat before you go. At least I do because if I don't eat before a tattoo, I start getting really shaky, like my blood sugar drops. So I have to eat, but it's like an odd time to eat. And normally I'm not eating this early in the morning. I normally don't eat till around like five or six so yeah let me show you what i got first thing i got is some apples with pretzels and some cheese i didn't know what to get going into the store because i was just trying to think what's quick what's easy what can i snack on without ruining my lipstick and so i needed like finger food but i didn't want to get like chips or something because I just am scared I'm gonna irritate my stomach and have like diarrhea while I get tattooed. That would be like the worst. So I wanted to go with like some safe options that I know it's not gonna mess up my stomach. So I got that and then I got this thing. This has granola, chocolate covered something, and then some blueberries and those blueberries are huge. I don't know what this chocolate covered thing is. Let me read. So there's blueberries, lemon, coconut, granola clusters. Oh, bitch, I'm all about that. And yogurt, almonds. So I have this. And then the last thing I got is this vegetable tray. It just has carrots, broccoli, celery, and some ranch in there. So I just got this. So yeah, those are the three things I got. I'm gonna go ahead and start eating. I also got my water 
I got some Alani New water. I love Alani New. Like, I love all of their products. I drink their energy drinks every single day, even though the doctor told me not to. I don't care, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I need to eat this stuff. All right, so, I'm in the parking garage, and I'm pretty early, I'm like 15 minutes early, so I have a little bit of time. So I figured, why don't we do a what I ate out of what I bought? Because, I don't know if you guys have seen those TikToks where those moms make their kids like lunches for school and those little things and they bring them home and they're like this is what my kid ate today out of what i made him i don't know i don't know i'm trying to kill time so this is what i ate i ate all the carrots and all the broccoli i don't like celery so i learned that i do not like celery then i ate of course i ate the chocolate covered almonds and the granola and all the blueberries those blueberries were delicious and i didn't eat anything out of here this expires today and it's absolutely disgusting the pretzels are like soft and super stale the cheese has little white spots on them and i'm like mm, yeah i'm not gonna try that and then the apples like if you touch them they fall apart they're like squishy they're not like crispy they're like slimy and squishy so yeah, I'm guessing Kroger just didn't realize those expired today because none of them were on discount. So I paid full price for that even though, yeah, I'm not going to eat it. So yeah. And they didn't have any fresh ones because the apples looked kind of sus to me. So I made sure to grab one in the way back, hoping it would be like crisp. But it wasn't. It was bad. So yeah, I had a decent breakfast, I would say. Some fruits and vegetables. I'm not full. But that's okay. I might order uh, Chipotle to the shop or something if we take a break. I'm not really sure how long my session is today. I think they're normally like four hours, but I'm not sure today how long this session is or how long the tattoo is going to take. If it's only going to take like two to three hours, I don't need to order food. But if it's going to take like five hours, I probably will order some like Chipotle to the tattoo shop. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of my stuff and walk over to the tattoo shop and i will see you when i'm inside i keep saying that i keep ending every clip with i'll see you when i'm at the tattoo shop and then i pop on to tell you guys something else so i will actually see you when i'm in the tattoo shop this time <laughs> okay i'm finally at the tattoo shop and let me show you what i got bradley here it is it's a taxidermy mouse on a toilet i told you guys what it was but you haven't seen it and this toilet is like porcelain it was really heavy and he's reading the taxidermy times. <laughs> I just thought it was a cool thing. And these mouths are um, ethically sourced. I'll tell you more about that when I get home because I have pamphlets on it, but here's what he looks like. He's so cute and he's got little teefers. So it came with several pamphlets, but here's the one that says all animals used are sourced ethically. Each animal is posed with a different costume and given a little personality. They're unique, fun, and a great conversation starter. So I got this mouse because Bradley has several other like taxidermy items in his tattoo room. And so I saw this and I thought of him and I thought he would like it. So I went ahead and got it for him. Here's the information of the artist who makes these. So in case you guys want to look into it or you're looking for one for yourself. And then I just got some candy corn from an orchard. And then these Skittles are good. If you guys have never tried these, you should try them. Some of them are sour and some of them are sweet. They're really good. I also got a package. I'll show you guys this when I get home. But Bradley gave me one of his shirts for merch. And then um, I actually had a subscriber send me a package. So I'll go over that stuff when I get home. So here is what my thigh piece looked like before we started today's session. I just wanted to give you a little reminder of where we left off on. We just had the rough outline done, so we're pretty much doing everything else today. I'm really glad I decided to split it up into two sessions because I totally could have done it all in one session, but for me, just like managing the pain and splitting it up into two sessions helped me a lot and made, made it like way easier. As far as pain goes for the thigh, obviously everybody is different, but for me, the thigh like area right here was super, super easy. I was shocked at how painless it was. The only time it really hurt and I was like tensing up was like the last hour. I had already been getting tattooed for like three hours at that point or two and a half hours. So my skin was just raw. So going in with the color at the very end, um, it hurt a lot more than like the rest of the time getting tattooed. Overall, it was a really great experience and I just expected it to hurt worse because of other leg tattoos I had, but this area for me was super easy and now I'm not nervous at all to do the other side of my thigh. 
Okay, I just gonna take a little break and go to the bathroom, but it's going amazingly. Let me go ahead and show you how far we've gotten. So here's what it looks like. We just got the house color done. We're gonna do some Halloween colors. We're gonna do some orange and some purple. I'm really excited about that. It's gonna look so spooky, but even just having the like shading done on the house looks so good. And just having like black pigment on there, it's like, oh, I love it so much. I love this. I cannot wait to see it done. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, we're just taking another little break. We're about to start the color, but just getting a little snack real quick. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference from before because we're still using black, but we're getting ready to use color, which is exciting. So here's what it's looking like. It looks so cool. I just love seeing like the depth and color. It looks so cool. I'm really excited to see what it looks like with the color. So yeah, we're just gonna take a little break and then we will start with the color and then I think we'll be done. I'm not sure. This is going by so much faster. Let me see what time it is. My appointment started at 11 and it's now one. So it's been a couple hours, so not bad. I feel like it's going by super quick. It's pretty painless and pretty easy. Like the thigh is one of the easiest tattoos I've ever gotten. It's going really good so far. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys, if you're going and getting tattooed for hours and you have to lay in an uncomfortable position, don't be scared to bring like a blanket or pillow. I know it can be like kind of intimidating to bring a pillow to an appointment and like for me, I would be worried like, oh, I don't want to be in a pain in the ass. I don't want to like make it awkward by bringing like a blanket or something or a pillow. But honestly, when you're sitting there for like four hours getting tattooed in a very odd position, having a pillow for neck support or back support really really does make a difference and it really helps um, you to not be so uncomfortable because you do get in some weird weird positions sometimes so honestly having a pillow has been such a game changer for me and now I bring one anytime I'm going to be laying down getting a tattoo okay so as you guys can see I am back home now I will show you the finished tattoo in just a minute but I want to open this package that I got with you guys so I did a giveaway like a month ago for my birthday and there were eight giveaway winners and one of the giveaway winners sent me a package um, which was really really nice too kind but I wanted to show you guys what she got me so she got me this card super cute there's little stickers on it and then here is the card it is so pretty and she left a little note under here it says the haunted house can be used as a decoration if you so choose which is it's 3d it's super cool and it has sparkles on it it's so cute and then inside the card she got me some stickers look how cute these halloween stickers are i mean hello i will definitely use these and then she just wrote me a little note it says aislin i know you said you didn't want anything in return but i had to at least send you a little thank you please consider this a little thank you slash belated birthday present have an awesome halloween this card gave me your newest tattoo vibes and then this is her at right here. Her name is Holly, but this is her Instagram handle. And then the card says, may Halloween bring you unexpected surprises that make you shiver. So super, super cute and sweet. Thank you so much. And then let me show you what she sent. So she sent me these little pumpkins. Let me get them out of the sun. Look how cute these are, okay? And this one, it's like weighted. So like, it's not like a super, super flimsy pillow. This is like really good quality and it's weighted at the bottom. And these are so, so cute. And I was like, I wonder if she made these. And then I found this little note and it says, these pumpkins are handmade by me. They're also no waste, meaning their guts are fabric scraps and the outer fabric is actually the leftovers from the upholstery project I did and are the material on my chairs and my dining bench. Big boy also has some rice for weight. Hope you enjoy. So she handmade these and they're so cute. They're so cute and they're so soft and I love decorating for fall. So I will definitely use these around my house. Thank you so much, Holly, for all of these goodies. So sweet of you. So this is the new merch that Bradley just came out with. So here is the shirt. It is rainbow hello and this is one of his designs that he drew and then on the back up by the top it just has the same design this is so cute and so my vibe when he showed me the new design i was like you must have made this just for me because look how cute that is it's rainbow i'm definitely gonna wear it. and the quality of his shirts is like 
unmatched. It's like the best quality. And then he told me he did the rainbow um, because a percentage of the sales is going to be donated to LGBT youth. So that's also really cool. It's for a good cause. Let me go ahead and show you the finished tattoo. I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. It turned out so much better than I thought and just having it completed feels good. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's what it looks like. There is some like blood obviously on the way home. I was still bleeding. But here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous, honey. I love it. Like the windows look like they're actually glowing from inside. It looks so good. Adorable. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. I will also leave a link to Bradley's Instagram in case you guys wanna check him out and look at his artwork. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.